Uh, in terms of genetic improvement, uh, over the last 25 years, uh, we, we have improved growth rate by uh, significantly by uh, 25 days to market. Uh, we reduced back fat by about 5 millimeters. And uh, on reproduction side, we improved litter size by about 3 piglets. And therefore, uh, productivity in terms of uh, pigs wean per sow per year by 7 to 8 uh, piglets per sow per year. The main selection objectives for uh, dam lines, uh, we've got to remember that the, um, we need to continue to put pressure on, on production uh, trade improvement, even if we are talking about dam lines, uh, knowing that 50% of the genes that are, uh, uh, that are present in the commercial pig are coming from the mother. So uh, it's very important to improve, continue to improve traits such as average daily gain, feed conversion, and uh, to a less extent, uh, percentage of lean in the carcass. We are also looking at improving litter size on the female uh, lines. But beside that, we identified feed intake as being a very important trait to improve, to continue to make improvement in terms of uh, reproduction uh, uh, capacity and beside improvement of litter, on litter size and uh, feed intake, uh, we are selecting also for the total number of teats. We are selecting on winter service interval that are very high correlated to feed intake and also the quality of the piglets at birth and at weaning. The trends that we observe in terms of uh, improvement of productivity over the last 25 years, I should say not 25 years, but uh, basically 15 years. Uh, we started in beginning of the 90s with uh, an average productivity of 22, 23 uh, wean per sow per year, with 11 total born, about 10.4 born alive, and less than 10 uh, wean. Uh, to uh, a, a productivity today that uh, stands uh, around uh, 31 wean per sow per year for the best producers we have, uh, with a total born of uh, above 14 and number of wean that are above 12. If we look at the main consequences of this uh, improved sow efficacy and its impact on the, the sow requirements or the piglets requirements, uh, first of all, we need to remember that uh, if uh, we add uh, more piglets on the sow, that increase the, the amount of feed that the sow should, should consume to maintain its body condition. Uh, for instance, every additional piglet that we are putting on the sow uh, end up with an increased requirement that uh, means 0.5 kg of feed per day or one pound per day. So if we supply this amount of feed to the sow, uh, we can increase the number of piglets without any detrimental effect on the sow productivity. This is why feed, sow feed intake is so important to us and has become one of our most critical factor to control to actually uh, maintain or improve sow, uh, sow uh, reproduction, uh, both short term uh, in terms of uh, production uh, for the next, uh, the next uh, parity or long term uh, productivity. And also, if this feed intake is maintained on the cell, this means that for the piglets, the, uh, the piglets should be, could be weaned at about the same weight and therefore uh, guarantee uh, a good control on the cost of production on the finishing end. If we look at the main challenge of uh, this increased sow reproduction ability in terms of uh, sow and piglet management, uh, I think the most important thing is that maximizing sow feed intake not only on a population standpoint but uh, an, an individual standpoint is very important to achieve uh, maximum efficiency of pork production. Also if we look at uh, the today's challenge we have in pork production, I'd say across America, we have significant challenges in terms of labor. So as a company, we've been seeking for tools that, uh, are, uh, that enables us as a producer to maximize this feed intake on an uh, individual standpoint. So uh, the bottom line uh, goal of doing that is to be able to achieve the potential not on a 
population base, or, but an, a, a, from an individual base, and looking at a way to enhance uh, the, the feed intake is also a good way for us to achieve our goals in terms of uh, maximizing our piglet uh, winning weight. And this is why looking at the gestal system, we've been pleased in uh, uh, using that technology. Uh, we believe we found a technology that will enable us to, uh, as a producer, uh, to maximize our soil productivity and at the same time lower our cost of production. And more importantly, as a breeding company, we also uh, found in the Gessel system a system that will enable us to monitor our feed intake on a routine basis across our genetic lines uh, in order to improve our lactation uh, feed intake and therefore continue to raise the bar in terms of uh, maximum uh, efficiency of reproduction, uh, which is going far beyond the 30 wean per sow per year. Uh, if we look at the first, the very first units that uh, where we install our, uh, the gestal uh, system, it's about two or three years ago. Uh, right after the, the installation of the equipment, we uh, we saw the opportunity for us as a as a breeding company uh, to record feed intake individually. Uh, this was for us a very good opportunity uh, for us to improve eventually f feed intake on our purebred population. But more importantly, as a commercial producer, uh, the opportunity we saw using the Gestal system was uh, what the system was uh, providing us in terms of maintaining the body condition uh, on the sow. Uh, body condition was much more uniform, uh, and we also saw uh, an improvement on uh, reproduction traits, litter size, and winter service interval. And after we collected the first data, and you know, a few months after, we made our decision to install this equipment in all our commercial farms across Canada, 18,000 sows, because we saw the opportunity as a commercial producer to improve the feed intake in our sows, and therefore improve our overall uh, productivity, not only on the sow base, but also on our overall cost of production, looking also at the, uh, at the, the, uh, at the finishing end, at the cost of production for uh, nursery and grow finish. We installed the Gestalt system uh, in our commercial farm initially two or three years ago. We installed equipment on one farm, okay, to be able to evaluate what this equipment was capable of doing for us. We were pleased initially with the opportunity that this uh, equipment, the Gestalt system, was bringing us in terms of the uh, capacity to record individually the feed intake. But more importantly, as a commercial part producer, we very quickly saw the benefit of this equipment in terms of the body condition. Body condition improved very quickly and right after that we saw an improvement on reproduction rate if we look at the prolificacy, total born, born alive, and also winter service interval, we saw very, very significant improvement on those two traits. This is why we made our decision that uh, to install the Gestalt system uh, in our uh, 18 uh, thousand sow uh, operation across Canada. We have farms across Canada and uh, we made the decision to install the, this, uh, this uh, system because we were convinced that uh, the Gestalt system was a good tool for us to enhance feed intake in our sows individually and therefore improve the overall efficiency of pork production.